Now matrix display is controlled by the row index signal and the column index signal. And if we have the uh, row by row to display, then we're going to select one row at a time to give a zero. The other rows will get uh, one. And then the columns, we can have several ones to indicate which columns needs to be lit up in that row. So it's about timing. It's kind of like scanning. And this is one second interval. And let's see how it works. And then we can increase the intervals so it goes fast enough that our uh, we get an illusion that is a static uh, display, just like the seven second LED display. Just the matrix style V. We use the building 32 megahertz clock cycle to count, and then we can uh, take the counting as the intervals per second, or half a second, or even faster. Real underscore CLK is hooked up to the Xilinx spool pin 44, and that is the uh, crystal on the right by the uh, CPU there. That is the uh, the clock 32 uh -huh. megahertz. So, but that's too fast for us to see things, and uh, we're going to slow it down by counting, and then we're going to have the row signals, row six. 0 through 6, a set of 7 wires to select which row, one row at a time, to be active 0, active low. And then the pin assignments for these 7 rows are 28, 30, 29, 32, 31, 33, 34. And the column selections for those uh, columns we want to light up, we select, we provide 1 signals. Other columns will be zero, and the column signals zero through four, or well, five columns. The pins are 84, 83, 82, 80, and uh, 78. Okay, so these are the correct numbers. In the lab manual, it is not correct. Time scale, and this three really doesn't matter with the time scale. We're not doing the entire output simulation. And then this is the module test matrix. The input is real underscore CLK. The output is row underscore six, and the call underscore six. And the input output. See the output seven uh, seven wire output for the select uh, a row. Select one of seven row to be active row. And the five wire signal called call six to select several. It can be several uh, besides just one column to be let up. Okay, and parameter here is kind of like constants. B24 is 24, B14 is 14, max row number is 19. So this is kind of like bit 24 and bit 14 in the counter. And we have registers 8 bit I, 5 bit uh, temporary row. This is for the for loop we're going to use. And this is the row 6 and call 6 for the output. We're going to assign them to the correct uh, picture values, of course. And then we're going to have the pictures, pick rows. 5 bits make a row, because 5 colors make a row, 5 pixels make a row. And then the, how many rows? We're going to have 20 rows, so row number will be from 0 to 19. 0 to 19, each row 5 bits. And then we're going to have a counter fast underscore C. Fast underscore C. That's going to be driven by the building 32 megahertz clock. And uh, MSB is 24, the LSB is 0, altogether 25 bits. So if you count this from 0 to 32 make minus 1, and it goes back to 0 again in one second. So whenever the MSB becomes uh, from 0 to 1 and back to 0, that's one second cycle. And then we have 3-bit counter called uh, which picture row. 
counter which pick row C. And this is to count which row in the picture is going to be presented as the call 6. Call 6, so because one row has five columns, and then they are given to the call 6, which is a 5 bit output, to address which pixels in the row needs to be lit up. And initial begin, we're going to reset a counter, fast counter, which picture row counter, and the row 6 is going to be all ones, but the last one is 0, and then once we start, it's going to rotate and shift right and rotate. At any given time, only one bit is 0, others are ones, because that single 0 indicates which row is enabled that's active load to drain the input from the column selections, and then the LED will let up. Okay, and always at the pass edge of the real clock, 32 megahertz real clock, if we're going to count up the fast count, fast C. It's not a big program. And always at the pass edge of the fast C MSB. MSB is bit 24, and that changes from 0 to, to 1. And halfway through the counting, let me have a second. And then back to 0 again after another half a second. So it flip flops every half a second from 0 to 1, 1 to 0, give it a second, 1 second cycle, just like the clock. And this will slow it down. So we can use uh, bit 23, and that will be half a second cycle. Bit 22 will give us a quarter second cycle, etc. And if you have a larger counter, then the MSB will be uh, longer. Now the row 6 uh, will be the signals sent to the doll, the doll matrix to select which row is going to be active low. And this is going to be the uh, right rotation of the initial 7 bits, 11110, and then it's going to be recomposed uh, by the rightmost uh, bit becomes the first one, and the rest move to the right. And then the call 6, call 6 comes from the picture rows. We're going to select one row in the picture to display. So we have a 7 by 5 picture. Then that area is going to be displayed. We need to have a switch pit row counter to count, starting from 0, and then you're going to count up 1, 2, 3, 4, and so forth. So every time we have the past edge that is at the MSB of the counter, meaning that every one second cycle we're going to count down the pit row. And that selects from the picture row which row to be the column signal sent to the dot matrix display. Okay, the pictures from the first seven row, first seven rows of the 20 row pictures will be given out like this. Uh, so it's hard to say what that is being displayed unless you uh, play this video faster. And this initial begin in initialize the pictures. And there are 20 rows, each one is 5 columns. So you can see something like 1, the figure of decimal 1, followed by the figure decimal 2. 1 is kind of on the left, the 2 is kind of uh, towards the right. Okay, this is the faster intervals. Can you tell that it's a 1 and partial 2? This is one sixteen second instead of one second. The row updates. Okay, now this is much faster. Yeah, so this is kind of like one sixty fourth of a second. So one sixty fourth, and then you start to show that it's kind of like one, the figure one, and partial of figure two. Now uh, we switch to B14. That's the original idea. Is that we're going to have fast C bit number 14 as the indication of the pass edge, and then that give us um, 1 kHz 
So 1024 times the B14 is going to flip from 0 to 1 during the counting from 0 to 32 make minus 1 and back to 0 again in one second. So that's the in building internal uh, crystals at 32 megahertz. So the display, as you can see, will be stable because the illusion give us is that our eyes are not uh, that fast, so we don't see it row by row being updated. Instead, we just see this uh, fix the figure one and the partial two. That is part of the 20 row pictures we defined initially in the first seven rows. Give us this picture one and partial two. Okay. And then if we want to, we can move this 20 rows up. All we can do is that we can uh, move the second row to the first, the third row to the second, and then the fourth to the third, and so and so forth. And then the last row is going to take in the first row from the top, so it becomes the bottom row. And then we scan. Every time we display, we do 1,000 times display on the first seven rows, first seven rows. And if we move these things around, we scan the first seven rows that give us the illusions that the image we see is moving because we are changing the contents of the rows between them. Okay, so this is what this always block does that I commented on. So I'm going to uh, compile this and then the, we will see the scrolling image at the interval of uh, one second or faster as we like it. Okay, so here's uh, the moving of the 20 row pictures. The first seven rows are being shown here and the refresh rate is 1000 times a second that we update each row from the first seven rows of the 20 row images. And it looks like it's moving because uh, we are in every second change the content by moving the images up row by row. That's when we start to swap rows. Swap rows. This happens one second at a time. And if we change it to much faster, like one eighth of a second, just between rows, so give us the illusions of the pictures moving are faster and then the actual seven row updates occurs here fast counter reaches the changes at bit 14 instead of bit 24 bit 14 changes rather fast it happens 1k hertz that means 1024 times a second so we use speed up uh, to one eighth of a second we change the row contents and then take the first seven rows as the uh, display as you can see we can uh, have a feel that the uh, is is going up much faster much faster so again this is all in your control the dot matrix led display seven by five